Falkland Islands Capital Stanley Among 39 Places Vying for City Status The Falkland Islands Capital Stanley is one of 39 towns bidding to be granted city status as part of a competition to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in 2022. For the first time ever, British overseas territories and Crown dependencies have been allowed to apply for the title. Stanley, which is almost 8,000 miles away from the UK, is battling entries from Georgetown in the Cayman Islands and Gibraltar, Gibraltar for the sought-after city status. Bournemouth, Reading, Doncaster and Blackburn are some of the 22 towns in England that have applied. In Scotland, eight areas have applied, including Dumfries and St Andrews, and in Wales, Wrexham submitted a bid. Bolimina, Coleraine, and Bangor in Northern Ireland are also entered into the competition. The competition is part of the celebrations to mark the Queen's 70-year reign, with a special four-day bank holiday weekend set to start on Thursday 2 June. The Queen will approve the eventual winner on the advice of recommendations to ministers by an expert panel. Steve Barclay, the Cabinet Office Minister, praised the extension of the competition to the overseas territories. He said, this is a celebration of the rich and diverse communities which make up not only the United Kingdom, but also our friends further afield in the Falklands, Gibraltar and the Cayman Islands. City status is not only about local pride, it can deliver real leveling up benefits for business in the local area, which is clear from the high number of applications. A sincere best of luck to all those who have applied. As part of their bids, applicants must describe their distinct identity and community as well as evidence of links to royalty. Despite its small population, just 2,524 people, there have been several royal visits to Stanley, the capital of the Falkland Islands. And next year will mark the 40th anniversary of the Falklands War. The Han Leona Roberts, who represents Stanley on the Legislative Assembly of the Falkland Islands, said that 2022 was a fitting year to apply for city status. Ms. Roberts said, We have always had very strong links with the royal family, whose visits are always well received. This is something we really wanted to be a part of. It would be a huge privilege to gain city status, although we know there is a lot of competition and we are managing expectations. Nadine Dorries, the culture secretary, said, The Queen's Platinum Jubilee is an exciting chance for local areas to become cities and level up opportunities for all. As well as fostering local pride and potential, this competition is a great way to mark Her Majesty's 70-year reign. 2022 is set to be a year of pride, celebration and coming together with the four-day weekend alongside other blockbuster events including the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games and Unboxed, championing creativity in the UK. The final decision will be taken in spring 2022 and announced shortly afterwards. List of places that applied for city status, Alcester Warwickshire Bulimata, County Antrim Bangor, County Down Blackburn Lancashire Bolsover, Derbyshire Boston Lincolnshire Bournemouth Dorset Coleraine, County London Derry Colchester Essex Crawley, West Sussex Crewe, Cheshire Doncaster, South Yorkshire Dorchester Dorset Douglas, Isle of Man Dudley, West Midlands Dumfries, Dumfries, and Galloway Dunfermline, Fife Elgin, Moray Georgetown, Cayman Islands Gibraltar, Gibraltar Ghoul, East Yorkshire Greenock, Renfrewshire Guildford Surrey Livingston, West Lothian Marasian Cornwall Medway Kent Middlesbrough, North Yorkshire Milton Keynes, Buckinghamshire Newport and Carisbrook Hampshire Northampton, Northamptonshire Oban, Argyll, and Butreating, Berkshire Peel, Isle of Man St Andrews, Fife Stanley, Falkland.